fly into Minangimbi and from there we're going to take the boat round this way to Murungurai. <laughs> Hi, my name is Paul Sinclair. Recently I was invited by members of the Crocodile Island Ranger Program to visit their remote island in Australia's Arnhem Land region and learn more about their program and what it's trying to achieve. Strap in, because this is one unbelievable ride. The Yananu speaking Yulmu people are the Aboriginal traditional owners of Murungur Island and the surrounding area known as the Crocodile Islands. Bentley James has learnt the local language during his years living on the island and is one of the people passionate about continuing the program into the future. But what exactly is the Crocodile Islands Ranger Program? As people gathered round to collect their new ranger uniform, I learnt that the program is a vehicle for innovation in contemporary Indigenous ecological knowledge. With no shops on the island, the rangers are enthusiastic about protecting the environment, especially as it provides their favourite foods. This is a turtle egg. Every time when we come every morning for fishing, when we see turtle egg, sometimes we get uh, one bucket full and then take them home, share. Towards dusk, the boys pulled in a fishnet with enough food for everyone at the camp. Using a modern day net was nothing compared to the traditional method of catching fish. Being over 50 years since the last traditional fish trap was set on the island, for many of the younger people, this was their first time seeing the real thing. Fish traps signify a profound body of knowledge and the responsibility for passing on that knowledge is in the hands of the older generation. As an Aboriginal person, deprived of the opportunity to learn Indigenous language, it was an honour to hear the people speaking Yananu. Unfortunately, with the influence of Western culture and kids attending English-speaking schools, traditional language is slowly becoming lost. Recognising the seriousness of the situation, the Ranger program is implementing strategies like a Yananu dictionary to ensure their language is preserved for future generations. The challenge they face, however, is that there are no longer many elders left. We've got you know, one leader left, old, oldest. Uh, she knows uh, more story, more than us. And that's Bemarang up there, the old lady. Aside from teaching younger people correct dance techniques, Bamaranga is responsible for passing on knowledge to her kin all over the Arnhem Land region. Old lady, she knows how to make a net. For me, the wisdom this lady displays makes her equivalent to professors found in our tertiary institutes. But unlike school or university, Learning doesn't begin and end over a number of years. It is an ongoing, lifelong process. And as energetic as Bamaranga may be, she won't be here forever. As my time on Murungra Island came to a close and I battled the seas back to the mainland, I thought again of the Crocodile Islands Ranger Program, the people I had met, and a community's dedication to preserve the most unique culture I have ever witnessed. Alone, this will be a challenge, but with your support of the Crocodile Islands Ranger Program, life on Morunga will continue to flourish. We're looking for our ranger. When we die, the kids will take over. Uh, you are